Guys, do you think India is ready to go for demonetization and cashless society? Because I personally think that is really good for us. And uh, because now uh, with we being able to use ATMs more frequently, everybody is getting more accustomed to it. And yeah, I think you're right, Sanskriti. But uh, don't you think that uh, we are at a very good situation? But what about the peoples then that are there in the villages? They don't even know how to use ATM. So how how can say that we are ready for going cashless? Because and because we uh, if as long as and until we won't be starting with this thing, the we'll only be able to prosper much further than we are doing right now. Because if we move right now uh, with the pace that we have right uh, for the society. Because now we are bringing in so many policies, the government is doing the same. They are giving liberty and they are actually using that trade of theirs that they are uh, taking they, that in mind because they do not, they cannot use particular thing. What is keeping that as a stake is that? So like you, you are saying that uh, how will you uh, teach people like this had to start somewhere, somewhere or the other, this had to start someday. How can you like push things like... Uh, they don't know you have to teach them and now since we you have started this concept now people will start learning like very in the very beginning nobody you knew how to use computers like so now everything everybody like 90 percent of people they know how to use computers so this had to start sometime yeah i agree but computers were were not imposed don't you think that uh, ki, the computers came very slowly and like but we are told that yes from today onwards we will go cashless Yes, I do think that she is correct that we should go cash cashless because at some point of time we have to start the new things, we have to accept the new things okay. and at yes villagers are not that much aware of the things at some point of time they, are, they will also aware they know how to use television same in the same way they will know how to use the internet and cashless India will be promoted. Talking about the literacy rate, we are not that literate and most importantly we don't know how to use the internet in a proper way. Right now, the Indians are just uh, merely using Facebook as an internet source. More we use WhatsApp and Hike, nothing else. Okay, I agree with you that uh, we use Facebook and WhatsApp and Hike, but you know what, the internet is thing which, which we can't use without literacy, so you have to read and write to use internet. So internet is not in Hindi, you know that. And no. we, it, the, issue what is that we are having internet we know how to use it but where to use it the implementation thing, thing. that we are missing right now i think i like to add to it please see you said about the literacy point what i think is important is unless and until you teach someone you then the person is not going to learn by their own and reading one of the instances that i show uh, saw on tv few days back i think i discussed with some of the people as well that there is a village in maharashtra that they, that they were planning to take it completely cashless and they were starting at a slow pace from a single village over there. They had a hack collaboration. I'm not, I'm not very sure, but they had this collaboration with Bank of Baroda. They had these swipe machines installed in some of most of the shops. And they did that. So there was this reporter who was actually making one rupee transaction as well through the cashless economy. And they were teaching the people. So if you, know, if you are doing that experimenting thing, if you start with one village at a time, maybe yes, it is not possible for us to... Go, you know, in a single go. That wouldn't be that wouldn't be possible at India in such a large scale, which we have such a huge population. But starting at a moment with one village or maybe five or ten in uh, different states, we could actually impose that thing to a great ex extent. At least that is what I feel. And but that needs an initiation, which is not possible unless and until you take the first step. I don't understand like why everybody here is sticking to the point that village is village is village. I'll give you a real life example. There is a small small town in this in Jammu and Kashmir it has gone completely cashless. And mind you, friends, that is not a big city. That is a very small city. I totally agree with you. Like Goa has uh, some state uh, some villages of Goa has gone completely cashless. But this doesn't mean everyone could. You have to literate people. That is the bare minimum line for getting that. Yeah, I agree with you that uh, we have to tease them. So I think that we will be uh, very much ready for this, for going cashless after some time. But this is not the right time, I think. There is one thing you will have to agree with. Like in, initially, nobody in the villages even knew how to use Facebook, how to use WhatsApp. If the same people now can use Facebook and WhatsApp, then why can't they use internet banking for like cashless economy? But not in a day. Of course not. They are learning day by day, no? Not in a day they are doing this. But we have to start at some point and that 
just our prime minister started it this was just a quick move and we all are we all have to follow it then only we will go to learn all the new thing coming to the point of literacy as you said if we need to take literacy into consideration then uh, as for the statistics some of them i know is that we have such a huge rate of illiteracy in our country that if we keep focusing on getting the people illiterate first and then focusing on digitalization that i'm sorry to say but i don't think we are going to achieve it in, in coming 20 to 30 years that won't be possible because we, we live in a country which is which have tribals which have people those who uh, naxalized area and children who don't have access to education and if you're planning to get the illiteracy done first then i don't think that is going to be possible so it could be like learn and teach simultaneously uh, and you can experiment that as well and if you go up with that taking an example of cities like if i uh, if i take that into consideration so now while we were going for shopping or something we'll be carrying with us a lot of a uh, cash like if you're going like yeah you need to shop for 6 months clothes you'll be taking with you 5000 6000 cash minimum but now if you get access to some using debit card and cards for that and getting to swipe machines that is easy and in that case you even get discounts so who won't want that thing and what about the security the security yes of course security is an issue but we are uh, you are saying security that means you are comparing the security of the country with some other country right so how can you compare like many software engineers who are working in the field of the security network security very big companies they come to india they hire the indian engineers they hire the indian software engineers and they are using them for their security purposes yes i think that india is secure a little bit because when you do a transaction on bank it says that it is 128 bit secured so it's the second most uh, level of security so first one is 256 so it's secure what about hacking there are people who hack their accounts and that's what we have to secure about sir right now most of the people who are not aware of it like there are two portals rupee and paypal they are they provide of some sort of uh, portals but most of them are not aware they can get trapped it's good to say that we should go cashless or we we should do things like that but uh, security is the main issue now first we should secure ourselves and then we will be ready for going cashless so if you're talking about the uh, security part so they must have something in process because we live in a country of 121 million people we have many tech specific specimen uh, the people who can really do great things with that because we have people employed in other countries and working for security agency so obviously government is going to take some action when it comes to security point as well so don't you think that government should tell us that what what they what are they thinking actually because we have right to information and we should know that what they are actually thinking what i think is yes your point is correct that government should inform us but do you think maybe there could be something that could actually be of high degree of secrecy and that could not be revealed you you can never know anything what is happening inside the four walls of the government working so how could you say that yeah and here we are talking about security you cannot reveal about your security like so how can you say that you tell me about what kind of security you are having anybody can exactly. yeah if any expert person comes to know about what that type of security then he will think in that direction that how to breach that security level my friend but uh, security in these things like na the, these go with the key you know <laughs> will not reveal the key or will not reveal the crypt- cryptography technique but uh, at least We, they can say na that yes we have that security security algorithm or at least yes we are doing these things you are saying like ki about internet see there is an option without internet you can like book railway tickets and you don't have to use internet for going cashless okay the government is making us aware about some of its policies like uh, there is a new transaction policy of using aadhar card Have anybody heard of that? Yeah. Yes. That that's the most common thing we we use. But there are some chances of getting a black money through that also because some accounts are opened at zero balance using our Aadhaar card only. <laughs> exactly, you're right. And there there are many cases we have heard about that many of the bank accounts were filled. I mean, the people don't have money in their account, and in the next day they have around fifty thousand, sixty thousand money in their account. So. That from what, what is yeah. this? Like, this Nowadays, bank bank asks for proofs from where you got this money. This much uh, huge amount of money. If you have you are submitting something more than forty nine thousand or fifty thousand, you have to give it. the proof. 
So this is also in terms of security. Yeah, see, there, there are loopholes. There are loopholes. I do agree there are loopholes. But those loopholes wouldn't be filled until and unless you start working on them. And you can't start working on them unless you... um start such kind of initiatives like uh, our country is on like going cashless yes i agree with you because if you can think of getting something revolutionized done in your country you have to keep up with that thing and you have to actually follow it because when unless and until you're standing in a queue and in welcoming something that could really help our economy in the coming 10 years then you have to actually move forward with it because uh, because if you are going for that thing that nay we are going to follow the unconventional sources and we are going to live that life for all our life so that will become really very chaotic in the coming years for us and if now we are ready to take them that into consideration and endure some kind of pain and trouble that yes we might be facing today maybe that will help us in getting a bu- uh, better future tomorrow yeah, exactly and what i have and what i have observed is that people are accepting this change like i am from jabalpur and the jabalpur rail, railway station has completely gone cashless i had uh, encountered cases such that like these people are standing in a queue and they are buying a ticket and the ticket collector say bhaiya 5 rupees chillar do and they don't have that 5 rupee change so now they have gone cashless and now bahar train khada hai and whether he has to cash the train and now he has to go and search for like 5 rupees ka chutta chahiye mere ko exactly and if he does not give him that 5 rupee change either he has to miss his train or he won't get his ticket so people are accepting this change they have gone cashless and they are now quite comfortable with this this kind of problems